Hey everybody, how's going on? This is me, the ITK HQ, uh, back here with another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at macOS Mojave, some of its hidden features and not so hidden features. Now, I just want to say that I haven't made videos in a while. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but basically, I've been really busy with university, and then when I got free from university and my summer vacation started, I went to San Jose, California to attend the Worldwide Developer Conference, or WWDC 2018. Uh, it was an amazing experience, really enjoyed it, uh, met some great engineers and developers and uh, you know Apple staff, met some great new uh, friends as well, so it was incredible. Um, basically I applied for the scholarship, I got accepted and then I went to attend the whole keynote as well as the whole conference and uh, I was also able to see the Steve Jobs Theatre which was amazing, so uh, I will be sharing some photos and videos. Um, right now so you can check them out anyway back to the video let's talk about mac os mojave i'm running beta 2 maybe beta 3 on my macbook here and it's actually doing okay it's, it's a bit struggling it's struggling a bit however uh the ios server is actually pretty good on my iphone success so some performance updates um on the ios is actually very neat anyway Let's talk about some hidden features of Mac OS Mojave and some just some features that I'm really enjoying and probably something that you guys will enjoy as well. Now, the very first feature I'll talk about is Command Shift 5. There you go, that's the first feature. Uh, basically, this Command Shift 5 gives you this toolbar right here, which lets you, which is basically divided into uh, screen capturing and screen recording. So you can now select, so for example, you can capture the entire screen selected window or capture selected portion and then on the right hand side you have the record entire screen and record selected portion as well so all of these options now accumulated so you don't need to remember uh, the shortcuts you simply just go for command shift 5 and you have all of these options right here now currently I'm using QuickTime to record the screen of my Mac uh, but you can also do it from here as well now also in options you have other uh, you get the options of saving this to clipboard so you have the option of saving this to desktop documents mail but now you have the option of saving your video or your screen capture uh, to your clipboard as well now i'll just demo that right in, in just a moment so for example i can go to tweetbot i can open it up and then i can go for command shift 5 and then i can take a photo of my tweetbot window and that's going to be saved in my clipboard so i can then start a new tweet and just say command B and there you go so that's right there so that's pretty neat also now that we're talking about saving and stuff like that we have the stacks as well now so when you press this these are all the screenshots and they're all in one stack that's just to kind of make sure that your desktop isn't really getting all messed up it's, it's kind of for organization purposes which is actually pretty neat so a new feature in Mac OS Mojave Right, so that was a screenshot option, stuff like that. Next, we'll talk about Safari and Fave icons. So if you go to Safari, you will see that you have these Fave icons right next to your website names and tabs. And it wasn't there before, actually. So that's something new. So you can enable this if you go to Preferences, you go to Tabs, and then you have this option of Show Website Icons and Tabs. Now, next I want to talk about is Siri enhancements. So now you can ask Siri for a certain password for a certain account. So for example, you can tap this icon and you can say, what is my Gmail password? There you go, that's my Gmail password. Obviously that's not my Gmail password. I'm not stupid enough to show that, but again, it's also gmail at gmail.com. Anyway, so that's another sort of uh, Siri that it, that Siri can do for you, so you can it can find passwords for you. So you, let me try for Spotify. What is my Spotify password? Again, you have to uh, unlock this. You have to app, put your own password in, and then it's going to show you what is your Spotify password. So that's something new, something very neat that Apple has done uh, in. Uh, in this uh, Mac OS Mojave. Next one to talk about is that you get the ability now to trim videos uh, and photos and sorry videos and audios uh, right from Quick Look. So now Quick Look is extremely uh, powerful. 
So what I can do here is, for example, we have uh, we have this uh, audio right here. It's of AIFC. Um, it doesn't work with MP3, but it works with MP4 and AF5 in .wav formats. And you have this option of trimming the audio as well. So you can simply trim the audio from here, press done, and there you go. I can say replace this, and now I have a new, uh, sort of I have a trimmed down version of my audio clip directly from Quick Look. The next which I want to talk about is um, that in Finder, we have some new and different accents as well. Again, this is, I'm running dark modes. So that's just something new uh, with Mojave. And you also have this new sort of view as well, this gallery view, which kind of gives you, lets you show items as icons with their previews over here, and then some of the information is right here. And you also have the ability of creating PDF. You can also have the option of even markup from here as well. So all of these options in Finder, and again, we are using dark modes, that's win-win. Now, this feature is something that Apple did preview, but it's something I'm really enjoying and I'm, I just really like it. That is continuity uh, for camera as well. So I'm making a new node, new, like I'm in notes right now, I'm creating a new node, let's just say this is a new node. I need a photo here. Now, before, you had to take a photo on your iPhone, send it via the airdrop uh, to your Mac, and then paste it over here. But now what you can do is, you can simply come over here, say take a photo, and actually automatically opens up camera on your iPhone. So you don't have to do anything. It takes a photo and uh, just opens up the camera. You can simply take a photo, use photo, and it's going to appear right here. There you go. So it's just incredible. It just works. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, so this is, I mean, it's, it's magical how, you know, just that sort of link. Also, you have the option of scanning documents. So if you say that you want to scan a document, your phone's going to open up the scanner. Obviously, I don't have anything to scan. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take a photo of this keyboard. And I will say, keep the scan and save it and there we go i will have it right here how incredible is that so this is the new continuity features and they're just incredible so guys that's all there is to it in this video i just want to do a very quick sort of mac os mojave sort of features video i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel i'll probably do videos on ios 12 as well and um, right subscribe like this video Comment down below for any suggestions or ideas you have. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye.